It's Friday night, and that means more high school football coverage. Tonight, we kick things off with Alan Shope in Olathe. Well, a big Metro matchup tonight. Shawnee Mission East 9 and 1 on the season. On the road at 8 and 2, Olathe Northeast. Winners of five straight and averaging 59 points a game in those five games. But North never an easy road. North up 21 7. Seconds left in the first half. East driving with the clock ticking under a minute. It's Luke Kaiser to Wyatt Edmondson. First down. It's a pretty impressive drive. Then it's Kaiser to Mike Bamford. They call him Bam Bam, at least I do. Touchdown 21 14 North at the turn. To the second half, East gets the ball and they run the ball 10 straight times, and that leads to three 21 17 North. The Lake of North, though, they answer right back. It's the following kickoff, and it's Isaiah Simmons. Look at this it's a 98 yard kickoff return for North. It's going all the way back 28 17 at that point. East starting to implode. They fumble, not once. But twice, and that leads to another move score, 35 17 at that point. The season clock starting to tick on East if they can't get something going. They punch it in for four right there, but it's not enough. North piles it on. They win it 44 to 30. It's been three years since we beat them. They beat us the last four times, so. Really, we've been thinking about this game all year, and this is what we really wanted the most. So with the win, North moves on next week to play Blue Valley at Substate. East season ends at 9-2. and two. Reporting in Olathe, Allen Show, KMBC 9 Sports. It's the playoffs, so every game is big tonight, and it was win or go home at Park Hill. Trojans hosting Fort Osage. It's the first drive of the game, and it's a good one for the Indians. Take a look at Skyler Thompson, Fort Osage quarterback, with the quick out pass to Dante Dodson, 12 yards, and the first down. Next is Thompson again. He goes deep down to Dodson again. Looks like his foot is in, but they call him out of bounds, so it's a big third down to keep the drive alive. So Thompson calls his own number and runs for 12 yards. The drive capped off by this Thompson run. Look at this. He fights his way through people. 27 yards and the score. The Indians go up 7 to nothing. Park Hill moving the ball the other way until Brennan Garrett comes up with a big stop. The final of this one, Fort Osage beats Park Hill 42 to 10. Now, here's a look at some of the scores from around the Metro.